So I'm just at the bottom of this machine. And the heat is on these, we're in a really awkward place. You literally have to take the door seal out, remove the front cover panel to replace them. But you can check them from here. So I'm just going to connect the leads on of my multimeter. That's one on. I've got the bottom one to do now with it. It's quite hard winding, but. Okay, so that's both on. Oh. I think that's both on that. So now I'm just going to set the meter to ohms and it's got 29 ohms. So I've read across that heater there. Obviously I can't do the thermistor. You could do it in an emergency. You could cut the wires to that thermistor and test it for continuity and then rejoin them wires together. You'll just look there. You've got two wires, blue and a red, blue and a white. You cut them there, bring the wires here so you can test them a bit easier. But I'm not going to do them on this machine. I'll wait till I get a heater that's easier to locate and then do a proper test and removal and replacement video. But if you are in a tight position, you can test the elements. I know that's good, so I don't have to remove it. So you can also track the wires back up from the heater and test them at the board. So I found the black and the brown wire that goes to the heater. I'm testing at the board, I'm getting 30 ohms. So it's a similar reading, but obviously you've got to include the resistance of the leads. So there's a quick, easier method than getting tilting it. But you have to learn the wiring of the machine. And again, I couldn't get to that thermistor. So I've tracked the wiring back up. It was a white and a blue wire from the thermistor up to the PCB board and that's giving 6.9 kilo ohms. So you can cheat a bit and test in hard to reach places by doing it at the PCB board if you can find out the wiring.